First, search for iFacial Macap in the Microsoft Store. Press the Install button to begin installation. After installation, open the application. In order to use highly accurate face tracking with a webcam, you have to use a Windows machine with an NVIDIA RTX series GPU. At first startup, the message, NVIDIA's ARSDK is required, will appear. After some time has elapsed after startup, the ARSDK installer will be launched, so install it. After installing the ARSDK, close the application and reopen it. If you start the application immediately after the SDK installation, you may be asked to install the SDK again, but please ignore this. Ready for face tracking by web camera. If your PC is connected to a webcam, your avatar will appear on your PC screen. Change the output section from Blender to 3ds Max. After pressing the Open Advanced Settings button, press the Script button. Once the folder is open, drag and drop sample files and scripts into the scene. Press the Wait Connection button. Press the Connect to 3ds Max button. It is connected and works in real time. If you change the setting of the desktop application from avatar to camera, you can display the camera image. Press the record and stop buttons while the wait connection is pressed on the 3ds max side when the pop-up appears press yes the recorded animation is slowly imported into 3ds max Let's see how the sample avatars work. Let's select the neutral object. This object has 52 morphs. If you create morphs for a custom avatar using this sample avatar's morphs as a reference, you can move the custom avatar as well. Learn how to move your custom avatar. Here is a simple cube with just a jaw open morph on it. Enter the name of the cube in face object GRP name. When connected, the cube moves in accordance with mouth movements. Enter the name of the cube in the head bone field and the cube will rotate as the head rotates. If you feel that the rotation direction of the cube is not correct, change the bone axis setting. Next, 
Learn how to move multiple meshes at the same TIM. In human characters, the skin and eyebrows or teeth may be separate meshes. You can see that each separated mesh has a morph. Enter the name of the skin in the face object GRP name field and only the skin will move. Enter the name of the parent node containing all skin meshes in the face object GRP name field to move them all at the same time. 